Welcome back. This is um, type one and type two errors part two. So another classic exam style question to do with type one and type two errors is this one. It says, how can the researcher be sure they have not made a type one error, two marks? And if you get this question, then you will have had a, a different question immediately before this question. So I'm gonna go through the question before and then we'll look at this question. So the question before it will have given you an observed or calculated value of whatever statistical test was used. So in this case, we've got the psychologist completed an inferential statistical test on the data and obtained an observed, which means calculated value of T equals 2.875. And that might be anything that might be U equals 6.248 or something. Um, and then you will be shown a table that looks a bit like this. Now, this is a critical values table. And if you have a look at it, you can see on the top left hand corner, it says one tailed test and two tailed test. So you will have had to have usually they might tell you which one you need to go for or they might have wanted you to pick it up in the, in the stimulus. So if you've got a directional, uh, if you have previous research, you'd have a directional hypothesis. And that means you would select a one tailed test. And then across the top row, you can see the probability levels. So for a one tail test, it starts at P is 0.05. And that might be P equals or P is less than or P is less than or equal to 0.05. Or it might simply say 0.05, but it's the probability levels. So you can see there's four different probability levels for both the one tailed and two tailed test. And underneath the table, it will tell you um, whether your observed or calculated value needs to be higher or lower than the critical value. So in this case, it says for significance to be shown, the observed value of T should be equal to or higher than the critical value of T. And then it will give you a question. So this is the question you will get before the question about type one and type two errors. It will say using the table, or in this case, using table two, state whether the calculated value of t equals 2.875 was significant for a two-tailed test, explain your answer. And so it wants you to, to work out your critical value of t, which is in the critical values table, that blue table, and compare it to the calculated value. So our calculated value is t, or our observed or calculated value of t is t equals 2.875. You can see that underlined at the top. Now, this question has told you to select a two-tailed test, so I've underlined two-tailed test in the top left-hand corner, and it doesn't talk about probability level. So we know that our go-to probability level in psychology is P is 0.05, meaning there's a 5% probability the results are due to chance. So if it doesn't tell you to look for a probability level, then you just go for the 0.05. And... Um, it, now I've highlighted there DF is 23 and that's because for like in previous questions you have to identify that but I'm just telling you now that your DF is 23. So I've put a red circle around our critical value of T. Our critical value is 2.069 and remember under the table it says to you for significance to be, to be shown the observed value of T should be equal to or higher than critical value. So our observed value is 2.875, which is higher than our critical value. So the way you answer this question is like this. It is significant because the calculated value of T equals 2.875 is greater than the critical value of T equals 2.069. And then you have to add some really annoying bits where P is less than 0.05, DF equals 23 for a two tailed test. And all that information is in that table. So I'll just go back quickly. You can see DF is 23. It's a two-tailed test and P is less than 0.05. So that's how you answer that question. Then you'll get, you might get this classic exam style question, explain when the psychologist did not think she had made a type one error in this case. And if you get that question, it's simply asking you to go back to the probability to the critical values table. But instead of looking at the P is less than 0.05 level, you just look at the more stringent probability level of P is 0.01, which we know means there is a 1% probability the results are due to chance. And you want to compare your calculated value of T to your critical value at that higher level of probability. So 
the answer to this question is psychologist doesn't think she has made a type 1 error because the results are still significant at the p is less than 0.01 level and i put in brackets t equals 2.807 and our remember our original calculated value was um t equals 2.875 so t equals 2.087 um, that critical value is still lower than our calculated value. Um, and then you can add to that question by saying, this means there is only a 1% probability the results are due to chance. So if you ever get that question, explain why the psychologist did not think she made a type one error in this case. It will always come after a question where the results have been significant and all it wants to do is just go to that more stringent level of probability, P is less than 0.01 and see whether the results are significant there. And I guarantee if you get that question, they will be, because what they're getting at is they just want you to go and look at the probability level and show that there is, they're still significant at that probability level. And that means there is only a 1% probability the results are due to chance. So you need to pause this video and write down that standard answer, because the only things that are going to change are the, are the critical values and the, cal and the calculated values. The answer itself is just kind of template answer if you get that question. So um, what I would like you to do is practice now the two questions that we've just been through. So this question, it says the psychologist completed an inferential statistical test on the data and obtained an observed value of T equals 2.913. He calculated the degrees of freedom as DF equals 19. So this is actually, again, um, a T value. But remember, you might have U for Man Whitney test or um, you might have, um, well, the Wilcoxon test also has a T. Um, it might be RS for Spearman's row. Whatever investigation you have done, you will do a particular statistical test and that will determine um, the sign that is used to talk about the calculated or observed value. So in this case, I think it was probably an unrelated T or something. So it says T equals, in fact, I think it might be related, T equals 2.913. That's your calculated value, sometimes called the observed value. Underneath the table, it says for significance to be shown, the observed value of T, which means calculated value, should be equal to or higher than the critical value of T. So try those two questions. Question one, state whether the calculated value of T equals 2.913 was significant for a one-tailed test. Explain your answer. Uh, and if you need help, then just go backwards in this video to have a look at how we did it before. And then the next question says, explain when the psychologist did not think they had made a type one error in this case. And so again, that means you're going to be looking at the more stringent probability level to see whether it was significant there and use that template answer that you had before. So pause the video here and answer those questions. And here are the answers for you to check. If you just not pause the video, pause the video, go back, answer the questions. Don't just rely on looking at these answers because you won't learn properly. Um, so, but these are the answers. So question one, it is significant because the calculated value of T equals 2.913 is greater than the critical value of T equals 1.729, where P is 0 0.05, DF equals 19 for a one-tailed test. So that was that first question, are the results significant? And we said, yes, they are significant. And you're looking at the red circle around on the left-hand side. But then you've got that second question, why are they sure they haven't made a type one error? And the psychologist does not think they've made a type one error because the results are still significant at the P is less than 0 0.01 level, T equals 2.539. So there is only a 1% probability the results are due to chance.